I want to take the fight to them. Let's fight on their turf right. for a change. Let's make them spend their money in South Carolina instead of Wisconsin. Right? I mean, yeah. let, really, let's that, take the fight to them. Records are, their records are indefensible. You, you indefensible. think that people in Ohio think a 10-year-old girl will be forced to deliver a baby if she's raped? That's not something that any district, probably 20% of people agree with. So you never know, like we just saw in Kansas, bring the fight to them. Have them, be, have them worry. They need to worry about their next election. That's how they'll start. Up to now, these people are sitting in state capitals, and the one thing they never worry about is their own election because they don't think they're right. going to be challenged. And, and so that's why they're passing things that, that are so crazy. And if, if all of a sudden in two years, blue Ohio or blue whatever other states, because we want to go to other states, if these people think, my God, if I pass this crazy bill requiring inspections – of kids' genitals. I mean, again, it's painful to say that. I will have someone running against me pointing that out every step of the way. I don't want to pass that thing. You know, in the Ohio House, every House Republican voted for that two months ago. Every single one. If if you did a poll in every district in Ohio, not one district would say they like that idea. Not one. And so I think the minute you... So not only do we bring the fight to them, their records are so indefensible, in some cases corrupt, their public outcomes are so poor that I actually think you'd beat some of them, too, because you can't defend this stuff. You, you know, if I had 40 grand on a digital campaign about some of these bills, some of these people would lose right now. Uh, the guy, the, some of the, did you see the comment from one of the state reps in Indiana yesterday passing that bill that mm-hmm. sometimes some people have to die? He was saying women should die. A yep. deliver a baby. Even a rape. That guy would lose in anything close to a normal election. It'd be over. But if we don't run against them ever, and we don't run and put money in those campaigns, that person still gets reelected and thinks he's doing a good job. So yeah, I think my my number one mantra is we are not. There's no accountability left in too many of these places. And the other one is like you just said, we are only playing defense when we fight over federal swing states 